Happy New Year and welcome to Christ Kids TV. Guess what? We are going to start with a prayer. So fold your hands and bow your heads. Dear God, please bless our time together as we learn more about Jesus, our newborn King. And all God's children said, Amen. Have a great week. Hey everybody, I'm Pastor Ryan and I stuck into the church and I climbed all the way to the tippy tippy top of the balcony. You can see the church behind me. I'm all the way at the top. I'm as high as it gets in the church. It's so fun. Today we're going to talk about things at the tippy tippy top. I remember uh, hearing about a pizza. This pizza was so big it had a name. Its name was Octavia. How many pizzas do you know have a name? But this one had a name because it was the mother of all pizzas. It was so big, it was 13,000 square feet big. Mother of all pizzas. That, that doesn't actually mean that it gave birth to other pizzas. That would be weird, no. No, it means that the mother of all pizzas is the biggest pizza. It's a title that we use to express how it is always, it's at the very tippy tippy top of pizzas. We do this with other things too, like the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I'm sure you've seen Tyrannosaurus Rex, right? We call him the, the king of dinosaurs because he was 13 feet tall and 40 feet wide. That doesn't actually mean that he was the king of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs didn't have a government. It just meant that he was like the tippy tippy top of all the dinosaurs. And when it comes to king, maybe that's something you don't know about. You know, because we don't really have kings here in America. We have presidents, and a king is like a president, but the king gets to do whatever he wants. You see, the president has to serve the people, um, and he has laws that he has to obey. But the king kind of pretty much makes up his own laws, and if he doesn't like them, he just makes up new ones. He can do whatever he wants. The king is supposed to be the top guy in that whole nation, and he gets to rule all he sees. And if he's done his job well, then he protects and cares for his people. Well, we call Jesus the king of all kings. 
That means of all of the kings, of all of the nations, of all of the world, of all of time, that Jesus is actually the king of all of those kings. You can't get much more tippy-tippy-top than the king of kings. We learn that there are over 200 names for Jesus in the Bible, but the one that I like the most is king of kings because it shows that, that Jesus is in control. He's in control and he's protecting us and caring for us, which is why we can pray to him. And that all of the other things in this world, like other kings or presidents or dinosaurs, argh, Jesus is even above all of those. He's the king of all of the kings, which is the coolest thing ever because when we were baptized, he claimed us into his family. And then we get to pray to him and he listens to us and he cares for us. So he's not just something out there. He's not just so far away that he has nothing to do with us. He's not a king that we'll never meet. He's a king in our life, in your life. And we can have him in our life and pray to him every single day, which is really the coolest thing. To have the guy who's at the very tippy tippy top care about you and me, it doesn't get any cooler than that. Hey guys, I'm Ashley. Oh no. Let me fix this real quick. Ah, no. ah, that's better. I'm back here on Christ Kids TV to add the wise men to our uh, nativity scene this week. And as you can see, they're, they're already in there. Look on the left side there. The wise men brought gifts to Jesus, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And we're gonna learn all about them this week. Well, see you around. again. Hey everybody, we are going to learn the last little bit of the Christmas story today. So we know that Jesus was born to Mary and Joseph and he was born in a stable because there was no room at the inn. And we know that the shepherds came from their fields to visit the newborn baby. I don't think the shepherds brought him any gifts though because they were like in a real hurry because the angels had told them to go see this child who had been promised to them. When you think of getting baby gifts, what do you think of? Like maybe, I don't know, maybe a stuffed animal or maybe a little hat, keep their little heads warm or maybe a nice soft blanket to keep them warm. I know Jesus had some other visitors besides the shepherds. I wonder what kind of gifts they brought. Let's find out. The story of Christmas, Jesus and the wise men. 
This is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hello. Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. Bethlehem was part of Judea, an area that was ruled by a king named Herod. King Herod was in Jerusalem when some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Excuse me. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. When Herod heard that there was another king born in Judea, he was very upset. Ah. As was everyone else in Jerusalem. Yeah. Not you. So Herod called all the important priests and Jews together and asked them where this king was supposed to be born. The Jews knew that their king would eventually come and was always told to them that the king of the Jews, the savior of the world, would be born in Bethlehem. So they told that to King Herod. Then King Herod thought of a way to trick the wise men. Aha. So he called a private meeting with them and learned from them when the king of the Jews' star first appeared. Oh, God! And then King Herod told the wise men, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. And when you find him, come back and tell me, so that I can go and worship him too. Eh, okay. Hey, on your way. But secretly, Herod wanted to know where the king of the Jews was so he could get rid of him. So the wise men went on their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Jesus was, and the wise men were filled with joy. Woohoo! They went into the house and saw Mary and Jesus. Hello! Oh, look! Wow! And they bowed down and worshipped Jesus. Wait! They gave him special gifts fit for the king that he was, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Then God warned them in a dream to not go home through Jerusalem, where King Herod was, but God told them to go home a different way. So they did. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh? That doesn't seem like a practical gift for a baby. I thought a, for sure a blanket would be part of their gifts from the wise men. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. Pastor Ryan told us during pastor time that Jesus is the king of kings. King of all kings of all time. Of course the wise men gave him gifts like gold and frankincense and myrrh because those are gifts fit for a king. And you heard the wise men come and ask, where is the newborn king? And then Herod, who was also a king, was afraid because he knew that Jesus was a king. Okay, I get it now. I guess Jesus wouldn't need my nice soft blankie. That doesn't tell us that he's the king of kings. We know by the gifts that were given and by all of the signs that were provided that Jesus is our king. The king for you and for me and for everyone for all time. How cool is that? See you next time, everybody. Bye. Thanks for joining us this week on Christ Kids TV. 